Good morning, Bob at the deck store here today. I want to thank Mark Moore in Michigan for this question. Mark's going to be installing some deck lights around the perimeter of his deck, much like you see here. The new Trex deck lights come with the light hub connectors. They come with a five foot lead and they disconnect near the light for additional uh, uses, different things you can do. But what Mark wants to do is not use light hub connectivity on his deck. So what Mark's going to do is he's going to run a lead or wire all the way around his deck from the transformer. He's going to go in a circular fashion around his deck or a lineal fashion and then he's going to hook up these deck lights. So we're going to do this really quickly and, and show Mark and the rest of you how we can convert a light hub technology light into a standard light. What we want to do is remove the end of the light hub as near to the connector as you can. Then we're going to strip these two wires apart. These are twin leads, much like speaker wire that you'll find on your home stereo or audio stereo, car stereos, things like that. So we're going to strip these two wires apart. Now, LED lights are what we call polarity sensitive. If you look closely at these wires, this one's going to have a red stripe on it, and this one's not going to have a stripe on it. So we're going to have a positive and a negative lead. We're going to find the same thing with the lighting around the perimeter of our deck. This too is LED lighting. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this, this lead in half around our deck and we're, to, we're going to strip that lead in much the same fashion. Now, this is going to get hooked up in parallel, not in series. And that's an important distinction when we're referring to low voltage and LED lighting. The old styles that we put on our decks for years or landscape lighting was always AC current. The new style that we put on is a DC current. It's a much lower voltage light than, than we used to have. Draws far less amps. So a typical transformer, 30, 40, or even 60 watt transformer is all that's needed. So you'll, you'll strip off the proper amount of wire on each of these. And there's a number of ways you can do it. There's tools specifically designed for stripping the wire. But we're going to just use our wire cutters with the old fashioned way and, and pull those off. Just bare about three quarter inches of, of wire on each one. Now you're not gonna damage your light if you hook them up incorrectly. They just aren't gonna illuminate. And that's, that's not what we're looking for. So we're gonna hook these up and make sure they illuminate and then we're gonna go on and, and do the rest of the lights. Now the lights that surround your deck, the wiring, excuse me, the wiring that surrounds your deck is also coated on the edge to identify the polarity. This strand has some writing on it. This one does not. This one has a couple uh, raised ribs on it. If we, unless we know at the transformer which one's which, it isn't going to make a whole bunch of difference. We're just going to have to identify those lights. So we've got this stripped down. Now notice both lines have the, the same coatings on them, so we're going to reattach these now in the exact same order that we took them apart. We're going to put the two lettered lines together and the two non-lettered lines together. Now this is normally done in a power off condition. Even low voltage circuits, this is a 12 volt 30 amp circuit or 30 watt circuit, there's enough power in that to cause some people with a heart condition or, or neurological conditions to be electrocuted. So always do it with the power off condition to be safe. We're going to strip the LED lights exactly the same way. And we're just going to do a 50-50 guess. We're going to put one to each side. And if it illuminates, we guess right. If it doesn't, we're going to flip them around. So you can see that illuminates. So that's the direction we're going to hook up these lights. And voila, we have a light. Finish the connection with a waterproof wire nut. Simply slide it over the top of it, twist it in place, and we've got our light hooked up. Now we want this light to be in the surface of the deck much like this one, and because we didn't pre-drill our hole, we can disconnect it right here at the wire hub, put it through our hole, and finish the installation. It's as simple as that. Thanks again, Mark, for your question. Look forward to your next order.